This week is severe weather awareness week for the state of Ohio and us here at WTO 11 want to bring you what we look at as far as forecasting goes and what to expect when we issue alert days. But the big important thing is no matter where you are across the state, across the country, you want to have multiple ways to receive those alerts and the best way to do that track that from your app. The WTO 11 weather app is a very nifty tool can keep you informed and keep you safe. Now, how do we keep you informed? We issue an alert day, but what exactly is that? This is typically advanced notice several days in advance of impactful weather on the way. And we want to be the first to inform you. Of course, always get that latest information from our WTOL 11 weather app. Again, a lot of useful information from watches to warnings to advisories. And what exactly is a watch? So a watch versus a warning. A watch is when the ingredients are in place for the storms and it gives you that time to prepare. Whereas a warning, that warning has been issued. It's time to take action right now. That storm is in, imminent. You need to take shelter at that very moment when that warning has been issued. So again, a watch, the ingredients are just kind of in place. We're watching it, but that warning, that's when you want to take action right now and get to your safe space. So whether it's a basement, an interior hallway, a closet, anything on the lowest level possible when you are under a thunderstorm or a tornado warning. But who issues them? The National Weather Service issues these watches, warnings, and advisories. Us as meteorologists, we don't issue them, but we give you that information from the National Weather Service, which is a federal agency that has a team of people who watch and forecast the weather 365 days a year, 24 hours a day. So this is always a working operation, a great partnership with the National Weather Service and us here at WTOL to keep you informed and keep you safe. So during a tornado warning, the National Weather Service, in fact, has a very interesting acronym, DUCK. So remember that the D down to the lowest level. U under something sturdy, stay away from those windows, the glass surfaces, and then cover your head and get as close to the center of your house as you can. So again, that basement, that hallway, that closet, that interior bathroom, and keep in shelter, so that K, until that threat has passed. So if you're in under a warning, remember that acronym, DUCK. And something very useful also, have close toed shoes. In case you happen to be in a tornado warning or a thunderstorm warning and debris is flying all over the place, Afterwards, that way you're walking on the debris and you have something to protect your feet. And also very helpful, have a baseball helmet, some kind of helmet or anything, bike helmet, just to keep your head safe as well. So something we typically look at, and this isn't just here in the state of Ohio, but all across the country, we look at a map that's very similar to this. This is actually very quiet, but we look at this key up here and something that the Storm Prediction Center does is they'll issue Outlook. So this is from a couple weeks ago where the state of Ohio was under multiple outlooks. So that green is a level one, that yellow is a level two, that orange is a level three, red is a level four, and then orange or pink is that level five. So the brighter the colors, the stronger the intensity of a storm is. And that's how we really pinpoint what areas could see some very strong and impactful storms all across the country. And some of the big ingredients we look for with storms, strong winds, large hail, and also that chance for a tornado. So big impactful things that could certainly change the course or change on the course of the matter of these showers and these thunderstorms. So again, we're watching winds, we're watching hail, and we're also watching the tornado. But as far as that peak severe weather season goes, it just depends on where you are. The further south you are, it's typically in March and April, but getting closer to the state of Ohio, it's normally around May. And then the further north you go, parts of Michigan, parts of the northeast, typically around June. So we are starting to get into severe weather season all across the country. So many meteorologists will be keeping you informed and also keeping you alert throughout these next several months. And of course, you can always follow WTO 11 for the latest weather updates.